Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is iBelvi. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Game Capture HD software from Elgato and how to get overlays from Stream Elements onto that software that looks sort of like this. All right, let's get into the video. Yeah, uh, in between that transition, I did burn my tongue uh, and ate some good food, but please give this video a like for my tongue that I burnt. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. So first, we're gonna go have, head over, uh, go ahead and head over to StreamElements.com. The link uh, will be in the description below. Um, and when you are logged in for the first time, if you've never logged in here before, you should be presented with a uh, couple of options to log in. So we have Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. You're gonna be using uh, whatever login that you use for that streaming service or website. Um, that's gonna be your login for Stream Elements as well as they connect uh, pretty seamlessly. So it makes a lot of things um, pretty straightforward and easy for you guys once you're already logged into your account. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, once you click on Twitch, you should be presented with a um, pretty much just a login screen to log in for Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Um, let's just go ahead and log into Twitch here. Alrighty, so once you get in here, um, I know this looks like a lot of information to take in. Once you're inside of this dashboard here, if you are interested and wanna know more about stream elements and some of the basics, there's gonna be a link up top from Just Pudge's video. He is a friend of the channel and he kind of goes over some of the basics with stream elements and things that you wanna um, look out for, bots, things that you can just set up for your stream. We're not gonna go into that today. We're gonna be focused on the overlays, but if you are interested, go ahead and check out that video. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take our mouse and we're gonna go over here and hit the little hamburger icon on the top left. And we're gonna scroll down to alerts and overlays. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna click on themes gallery. All right, cool. Once we get to themes gallery, um, we're going to avoid these super themes for sake of time of this video, because there's a lot of information, a lot of things that happen within these super themes. We're going to try to find the most basic one for our stream, um, mainly because, you know, if we are streaming on a Mac, Mac computer, if we're not on that special M1 Mac that just came out, um, for most of us, uh, most of us Mac users, our, our devices aren't that powerful anyway, and that will actually, um, hurt your stream so much uh, in terms of having animated things going here and going there some of those fancier ones that you see the professionals use those <clears throat> professional uh, streamers youtubers so we're gonna go ahead and scroll through and try to find a less i don't know let's go for this purple flat in game overlay Hey, what's going on? This is the editor here. Uh, just want to scroll back into some of this stuff uh, within the themes. I did realize that depending on what login you use, if you use Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook as your login for stream elements, you may not see all of these themes here. Just want to show that. So if you do like log into YouTube or something like that, and you don't see all these um, <clears throat> static overlays that i'm showing here that's the reason why i'm not sure um if they are gonna you know try to add more overlays for those other uh logins but um yeah let's get back into the video so we can click on the preview button down here and what that is going to do is show us a nice preview it is kind of small so you can see the little magnifying glass popped up here we're just going to click on that just to get a bigger look into what that looks like 
All right, cool. So we can actually see that the overlay is going to provide us with webcam stuff. Um, looks like social network links down here, uh, something um, related to alerts. So we do get a bit of um, a bit of things uh, that happen inside of here. And on the top here, you, it does seem like we have some other things that we can do. So we're going to click the X on that and we're going to go ahead and hit get my overlay. Next, that you're going to be asked to go ahead and name your overlay. We're going to name this overlay expert because we're a boss and hit create my overlay. Next, you're going to present be presented with a link. We're not going to do anything with this link. Um, we do have an option to copy to clipboard. We're not going to do that right now because we need to make some changes to our actual overlay before we can use it. Alrighty, next, now that we are in the um, pretty much the overlay uh, section, we can see up here we have my own custom overlays. We're going to ignore those and we're just going to focus on one that we are doing for this video and our overlay expert that we just created here. We're going to hit edit. All right, cool. And we're going to start uh, making some slight changes here. We do have this information up top. This information is pulled from Twitch, which is amazing. So we can have we have up here our top donations uh, that kind of scrolls through there. <clears throat> we have no information here, but for our recent subscribers, we have some information here. We have my name, new follower, and then the most recent donation uh, right here on the right. Uh, a little bit further down, we're going to have our webcam section here. And then we have our social links uh, in this area here. One small change I am going to make to this overlay is that some of these social uh, networks that they have down here, I do not use. So what we're going to do is get rid of some of these. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, so first what we're gonna do is get rid of this Facebook icon with the Facebook name here. So we're gonna click on the icon there. And then once you see I clicked on that, you'll see this little trash can appear up here in the layer section. We're gonna hit that trash can. Boom, it's gone, out of here. I don't even know. All right, next we're gonna click on Facebook and just do the same thing there. Alrighty, so next we're actually going to move the Twitter uh, icon and the Twitter name uh, over here in this section and keep the YouTube over here and have the Instagram one more in the middle. That way it just looks a little bit nicer because you see this little blank area here just doesn't look as nice. So how you do that is you want to click on the uh, Twitter icon down here and you can actually start moving with your left arrow key with your right arrow key, you can see how it's kind of moving from left to right. Uh, I would avoid doing up and down. Um, if you if everything's kind of centered and you want to have everything kind of just slightly move over, you can do it this way. Also, if things are kind of moving slow like this, you see how slow this is moving. If I hold the shift key and then also start pressing that arrow left key, things move just a little bit faster uh, as it's shifting it over just a little bit further on. So we're going to do that. Do the same thing with the Twitter name. And then we're going to take this Instagram name. And then oops, let's let's move it over more towards the middle, right? And there we go. So we have um, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Now, if you do have um, different names for your for your social networks and you need to get that changed. For me personally, I don't. Everything's just going to be at iBelvi. Uh, definitely follow me. The links in those descriptions should be down below. Um, there's nothing much for Instagram. My Instagram is not popping. Sorry. Um, for this, if you do want to make some changes uh, to the names of like your social media platforms, what you want to do is go ahead and like select the name Twitter here. And then over here on the left side in this left panel, you want to hit settings. And then from settings, you can see this message where it says Twitter right here. You can start, you know, just dropping in whatever your name is. And the same thing for YouTube. Uh, since it's already selected, you can see this is the layers area right here was actually 
brought up and the settings was brought down. This is where you can actually make those changes. So for this uh, specifically, I'm actually not going to do that, but I am going to do it for Instagram. And I will show you why in a minute. Select that settings. We'll change this back to Twitter. All caps. Oh, that's not how you spell Twitter. Okay, that's how you spell Twitter. And then we're gonna actually go to Instagram. We're gonna try to make this as nice as possible. Just have my name pop up there as well. And then we're gonna delete the Instagram icon. I'm gonna cl click on that icon there. Go to layers, hit delete, boom. Now you can see it's just a little bit more cleaner. Uh, this is kind of based off of me since everything on my account information is all the same. Uh, this just looks nicer in my opinion. Alrighty, so now that that is done, uh, this is looking how I want it. If you want to move, you know, the webcam a little further down, you can do that as well. Um, also holding, you know, shift down, you can slightly move it down, uh, just depending on where you want it. This one really doesn't matter to me too much, but that is how you want to do that. And then we're going to hit save on that. So we don't lose that information. Alrighty, next we are going to hit this little section right here. That's the copy icon. That's going to copy it to your clipboard. And then we're going to head over to the game capture HD software from Elgato. Alrighty, cool. So now hopefully you guys can see this. We have this up and you can see that I have Animal Crossing New Horizons in the background amazing game if you don't have it you should definitely check it out it's a nice uh, nice little game to be calm you know we don't always have to be sweaty with these video games sometimes we just want to chill alrighty so inside of here you want to select a blank screen um, if you are new to this you probably just have a whole bunch of blank screens um, for me I definitely have some of my own custom overlays on here but uh, I do have a blank panel selected for seven and what we're gonna do is hit edit scenes and we're gonna hit and drop down in this little add overlay section I'm not sure what this name is we're just gonna hit this little plus icon and we're gonna hit add website now keep in mind our information that we just copied over from that website from stream elements is still in here so I should be able to right click and paste and then we want to change the size we want to make sure it's off of automatic and at 1920 by 1080. This is just going to make the overlay show up in the full resolution that um, that this window is showing in. And then we'll give it a second to actually show up. What I did, I did just edit some um, some space that was uh, done in between there. This did take a while uh, for this information to pop up. I want you guys to keep in mind that if you are running a Mac um, that is under power, I know there's a lot of, like I said, the M1 Mac is very powerful. Um, there's a few other Macintosh computers um, that are pretty powerful depending on how the specs are for that. But if you are in on those uh, low end MacBooks, it is gonna speed up those fans on those Intel based MacBooks. So if it is a low air, lower end one, it's on, you know, Intel stuff. It's going to speed up the fans um, because you're constantly <clears throat> pinging a website to get this information from. So <clears throat> what I suggest, honestly, is to keep it light um, when when it comes to these overlays. But uh, for, you know, for video purposes, this is what that looks like. We have the information up here on what we just created. We've got stuff down here with the social media networks with my uh, name down here. And we have the webcam section. Next, we do need to just, you know, fill that, that place in with an actual webcam. So what we're gonna do is hit the add overlay button again. And we're going to go to the webcams and we're just gonna add the webcam that I'm using. Alrighty, and this is what this is basically basically gonna look like once you get it added in there. Um, 
once you do get it added it might show up um, a lot bigger it might be you know a, a huge size let me get hit 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 edit here <laughs> we can't talk so it might just be a lot bigger when you first hit uh, the get webcam section and then you just want to kind of minimize the screen make yourself smaller and then just drag yourself over into that section to um, make yourself kind of fit in there and then like I said yeah this is what this is gonna look like I know it's not you know it's not the best fanciest thing um, out there but hey it is what it is and this is uh this is what we're gonna get out of stream elements um there are so many other customizable ways to just make your overlay your own i'll do my best to make more videos on that if you do enjoy uh this kind of content please let me know in the comment section down below um before we end this video i do want to um keep and uh, have you guys informed that you know this um for uh twitch youtube where you know things are constantly moving i have the top donations here kind of scrolling through and i've got the recent donations kind of scrolling through uh just like before um when i made that jump cut it did take this um overlay a, a little bit to actually pop up my fans on my mac are kind of spinning so you have to keep in mind that once you do actually start um streaming you have to remember that you're actually using more resources from your computer because you're also streaming so um what i do suggest for people who have lower spec macbooks keep it very light keep it very simple um, I can just quickly switch over to my actual overlay that I use and this is it um, I do have a um, green screen in the back if you are interested and want to know how to set up a green screen if you guys ever do get some type of green screen I can definitely do another video um, just showing that and uh, kind of it shouldn't take too long to do a video like that so I'll do a quick video just showing you guys how to actually set up green screen for your um, streaming setup uh, but yeah like I said this stuff um, definitely is um, process intensive on your computer uh, if you do have a lower spec computer so please keep that in mind um, when doing this if you do plan on streaming using all this um, stuff up here but with that we are gonna end today's video I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around I know it's kind of a long video um, but yeah like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one stay wild creators Later.